can't believe you called me at 3am to help carry your drunk ass home, dude. Like, who does that? Incredibly rude. Moreover, what kind of idiot am I for actually showing up? Yeah, keep it up with those comments, buddy. I'll leave you to wake up in a ditch, dude, and you know it. You know you interrupted my night, right? I just got off my shift, like, an hour ago, and I was only a few minutes away from catching up on the expense when you called. I could be at home, you know, enjoying my evening instead of dragging you across town. Ugh. Actually, you know what? Screw it. My place is closer. I can still squeeze an episode or two in if I let you pass out of my couch instead of walking all the way to your apartment. <laughs> Excuse me? No, it's not because I'm getting worn out from carrying you. I'm stronger than you by a mile, dude. The last time I was able to drag you to the gym with me, I had to save you from crushing your chest when you tried to bench press the weight I'd been using. Remember? Oh yeah, sure, you were totally just having an off day. Cope harder, my dude. <sighs> nuh -uh, no complaining. I get to bully you however much I want. That's my fee for taking you home. Hey, why are you making that face? Do you need to- Ew, dude, don't puke on me. Lean away. Oh. Oh. There, there. Let it all out. There, there. Yep. Mm hmm. There we go. Nearly there. Come on. There, there, okay. Feel better? Whoa, it tasted better going down than it did coming up. No kidding. Oh, why did you even drink this much to begin with, dude? You didn't have a group or a DD or anything. You probably shouldn't be getting hammered without a ride home, you know? Huh? Yeah, my place is just two blocks down from here and you didn't answer my question. You don't know why you got blackout drunk alone at a bar on a Saturday night? Hmm. Oh, nothing, dude. Nothing. Uh, was that cute waitress there? I forgot to check when I went in to get you. You know the one, with the jet black hair and the fishnets. Gah, the fishnets. Mwah. I've never seen a woman who can pull off fishnets when they aren't even visible from behind the bar like 90% of the time, but whoa. You should ask her out, dude. I think we've both been eyeing her for like weeks now. Let me rephrase that. 
you should ask her out before I do. <laughs> What? Pfft, you don't know anything. You're drunk. I am totally a lady killer. Just look at me. I'm already basically one of the guy. And I'm cute. Literally the best of both worlds. You better watch out, dude. <laughs> The only reason I haven't hooked up with anyone already is because I'm picky. Yeah, picky. I have very specific standards. <laughs> anyway, this is my apartment. Let me get my keys. Let's get you on my couch so you can sleep this off. Here we are. Uh, <clears throat> and there we go. I'll get your shoes off. And here's a blanket. Hmm, you look kind of pale. Were you drinking water while you were at the bar? Oh, none at all? Oh, I'll get you a glass. You stay put. Here, drink this. Good. That'll be a good start for now. You've got a headache? I mean, I'm not exactly surprised, given how drunk you are. Do you want me to... help? Yes, help. I'm asking if you want me to help with a headache, so that you can get some sleep. I know that you're absolutely sloshed right now, but can you try to keep up? All right, perfect. Just a few minutes with these hands and I'll have you knocked out harder than the last time that I accidentally gave you a concussion. No, I'm not going to give you another concussion, idiot. Just shut up and let me do my thing. Here we go. Nice and easy. Just relax into my hand. Feel my fingers caressing your scalp. Working and kneading into each and every follicle. Just sink back against my pillow. My fro pillows, perf. Just lay back and turn off your brain. Feel all the nausea 
nausea and tension move up through your body That's good, babe. Up from your stomach. Up through your chest. Along your spine. All the way to the tip of your skull. Now feel all of it slip out into my finger. I can feel your muscles unclenching. Finally relax. Isn't that better? <laughs> I learned it for this girl I dated a few years ago. She used to have these really bad tension headaches, and that always seemed to help. Yeah, that's probably why I called you babe. Wait, what? I mean, uh, yeah, that's why. Just, uh, habit. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Did I actually melt your brain or something? You want me to do it again? No, actually, I think that's enough for tonight. This went from sweet to weird in like five seconds flat. I'm going to bed. Good night. Uh, dude, let go. Uh, please. I relaxed you already. I just want to forget about it. You... Don't want the scalp massage again? Then what do you want? You want me to call you babe again? You like me. Don't you? That's why you've been going to the bar and getting hammered, isn't it? You've been stressed because you couldn't admit it. And you were hoping that I'd happen to be there too. Do you know how long? I've been waiting for you to confess to me. I was beginning to think that I'd been reading the signs all wrong. That I had lost my touch. Well, of course I'm in love with you, you idiot. I've been trying so hard to put out for months. Like, seriously. Do you really think I'd be wearing yoga pants if I didn't think that you liked them? 
I literally changed out of my basketball shorts and put these on right before I came to pick you up from the bar. Just because you mentioned liking yoga pants once, like, five months ago. Look, there are the shorts, still on the chair where I threw them, on my way out of the apartment. <sighs> wait, wait, you weren't lying about liking these stupid things, right? Oh, good, good. You better not have been. <sighs> well, I guess now our cats are out there, respective backs. You're in love with a girl who can twist you like a pretzel, and I'm in love with... Whatever it is that you are to me, I guess. Comedic relief, maybe? <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't really want to try to figure out where we go from here in my couch at 4 a.m. while you're drunk and I'm tired. Maybe we can do that tomorrow, I guess. But for now, um, do you want me to do some more of that thing I was doing before with your head? Good. I'm glad. This time, could you, uh, sit up just for a minute? There, it's easier to do it this way, having you lay back against me like this. That's it. Just melt in my arms, dude. I've got you. And I like you. you a lot, actually, and I'm so glad that you like me. I've always wanted to do this with you. To be with you like this and help you relax after a long night, or a workout or something, not gonna lie, I've dreamed about it once or twice. And now, I finally got you here. You're finally mine. I never could have imagined how happy I am right now with you. Even with the stupid yoga pants. I think.